Hi, I'm Tony Poulos, and I'm here today with Calum Anderson from Blue Planet, a division of Sienna. Calum, welcome. I understand that Blue Planet is one of the early leaders in network automation, but what have you seen in the market over the past few years in terms of service provider readiness for this automation? So the first thing I would say is that automation is the key enabler of digital transformation. And when you look at the types of transformation that automation is facilitating, it really fits into two key baskets. The first one is focused on saving money for the service provider and de-risking their business. Very much focused on automating manual processes and making them more efficient. The second area is really around this concept of the digital service provider. Really focused on revenue generating activities, launching new services more quickly and effectively and making money. So that's what we see in the marketplace. And from an automations perspective, the other thing that we really see is the fact that there are three key trends that are absolutely critical for the service provider to adopt automation. The first one is it needs to show a compelling ROI. The second one is they want an open and programmable environment so that they're not beholden to any particular vendor and that they can implement the technology how they want, when they want, where they want. And then the third one is they want to use that technology across multiple domains, multiple areas. They don't want to implement five different automation solutions. Implement it once and leverage in multiple places. So service providers realise the need for automation, but where do they typically start on that journey? So inside of Blue Planet, we like to say that you can't automate what you can't see. And so what we focus on is providing real visibility into the network first and foremost. We think that's the first stage in automating. Um, so key problem that service providers have is data sits everywhere in the network. They don't know what's happening in the inventory. So being able to pull that together, be able to provide a global view in terms of what's going on, what the actual service inventory looks like, and then you can automate off that and do all these weird and wonderful things with automation. We've been hearing a lot about AI and analytics, but how is AI used in the context of automation? Yeah, really good point. So I've come from an operations background. Uh, historically with operations, they didn't use artificial intelligence. They used what we call rules-based automation, creating these huge heuristics of if, then, and, or yes, no type rules. It's a zero sum game and really you can never get ahead of it. Automation and particularly artificial intelligence changes that paradigm. It's all about taking all the information and then doing deep learning against that information to identify trends and proactively and predictively identify issues before they happen and then automate off that. My view is artificial intelligence is the game changer as it relates to automation. We know the industry is gearing up for 5G deployments, which should enable a vast array of high performance, uh, dynamic applications. But how does this impact the need for intelligent automation? So 5G and automation go hand in hand. 5G is not going to get rolled out without end-to-end -end automation. Why? Because 5G is inherently more complex than 4G. If you look at what some of the key enabling use cases for 5G, they're around edge compute, driving low latency applications that sit on the edge of the network. What does that involve? It involves applications, it involves the edge compute infrastructure, it involves the network and virtual network functions. Bringing all that together in a manual way just isn't going to happen. So automation really is that key driver. And if you think about it from a use case perspective, it needs to be real time, it needs to be instantaneous. Things like driverless cars, gamification, all of these use cases require automation to be delivered effectively and deliver the right customer experience. Well, it certainly seems that Blue Planet is in the right place at the right time. Absolutely. Caleb, thank you very much for being with us. Thank you.